welcome to the weekly vlog. It's my grandpa's birthday, so I am headed to go pick up my mom, and we're gonna go down and have dinner with my grandma and my grandpa. Um, same grandparents I see like every couple of weeks, once a month, I don't know, however often we go down and see them. I always pick up my mom because she's kind of on the way there, and uh, I don't know, I always drive. I like driving, I feel like I'm the only, me and my dad are like the only ones in our family that like driving. My husband doesn't love driving, at least on long trips, and my mom doesn't like driving either. So if we're going anywhere, it's either I'm driving or my dad's driving. So if my dad's going, then of course my dad's driving. If I'm going, then and my dad's not, then I'm driving, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden I felt the need to explain why I always drive, but I did. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna pick up my mom and we're going down to have dinner with my grandparents. Like I said, it's my grandpa's birthday. Picking up dinner actually on our way down there. A restaurant I think we ate at maybe the last time we went down there. I think it's one of their favorite places to eat in the town that they live in. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we ate there the last time we went down to their house. So we're gonna go eat there or pick up food from there again. My mom texted me the other day and asked me to pick out what I wanted and I picked out fish tacos. I got fish. I think I got fish or chicken. Now I can't remember but I debated between the two. I might have picked out chicken now that I'm thinking about it. Chicken tacos and they had like chicken and ranch and cheese and lettuce and tomato on them. It sounded really yummy. But anyways, so my brain is like all over the place. I don't know what's going on in my brain right now. But anyways, guys, I thought I would get this vlog started for the week. It's my first day off and we've got a few things going on this week. I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. Oh, it's raining. Why is it raining? It's sunny and raining. I don't like that. Okay, no, it's not raining. That was a weird little rain thing. It's been raining off and on all week, which I'm not happy about. I did get to lay in the sun this morning. But anyways, like I was saying, I have a doctor's appointment this week. And I had a chiropractor appointment, but they called me yesterday and said that um, some things came up and he wasn't going to be in the office. So they rescheduled me for like two weeks away. And then, um, I have dinner with some friends on Friday. I don't remember what else is going on, but yeah, we've got some things going on this week. I have a wedding hair and makeup that I'm gonna be doing on Saturday. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna pick up my mom and I will see you guys later. Sorry I didn't check back in with you guys last night after I got home. I got home at like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night and then went for my walk and my husband and I watched a movie and then I went to bed at like midnight. Right now it's about 7.20 and I need to get out the door here in just a few. I have a doctor's appointment this morning. Just my regular checkup. I go and see him about every three months so I can, you know, check in with him, talk to him, see how I'm doing, and get my refill, my prescription, all that good stuff. And then I also have my appointment to get my vaccine today, uh, my COVID vaccine. So uh, doing that this morning and then I should be out of there about nine between my appointment and my vaccine appointment. I'll be there, uh, my appointment's at 7.40. And so I'll probably be there a little over an hour. Then we're gonna go see my sister-in-law and my nieces. and spend a little bit of time with them. I'll probably only be there for a few hours because they usually nap around like 12, 12 30 somewhere in there I think they take a nap so yeah I think that's all we're gonna do today I've just got some editing and stuff to do afterwards probably come home and eat because I'm not gonna eat for my appointment it's super early I'm super tired um, like I said I went to bed about a little after well it's probably about midnight when the movie was over so it was probably like 12 30 by the time I got ready for bed and got in bed and fell asleep so I'm pretty tired <laughs> like six six hours about six hours I got so I'm tired <laughs> but anyways I might have a nap in my future this afternoon I don't usually nap but I might have a nap in my future <laughs> my doctor's appointment went really well it always goes good I really really like my doctor which I feel like sometimes it's kind of rare to find a doctor you actually like I had the same primary caregiver pretty much my whole life and then I don't think I'd gone to see him since I was in like 
a sophomore in high school, I think. And then sometime last year, I decided that I needed to actually get a primary caregiver. I needed to get a, a regular doctor. And so, so I decided to go, uh, go find one. And so I've been, like I said, seeing him every few months, whatever, just for a regular checkup, check it with him, get my prescriptions refilled, all that good stuff. Um, so anyways, yeah, I really like him. Everything was good. I got my shot. That went really well. The lady that did my shot was, I think, maybe the best shot giver. I don't know what you want to call it. I keep on calling her phlebotomist, but that's not right. That's people that draw the blood. Whatever you call a person that does shots or gives shots, I don't know. Anyway, she was the best person I've ever had give me a shot, I think. Like, she was so gentle and so fast. I barely felt the needle go in, and then I've heard people say, like, the COVID shot kind of hurts or it's kind of painful or whatever. She had this vaccine in so quick and painless that it was actually in and injected and the needle pulled out before I even realized it. And I was like, I don't like watching. I don't like looking at that kind of stuff. Not that needles freak me out, but just like pain and things that have to do with the skin kind of freak me out. So I don't really watch. I was just kind of looking out the window, whatever. And I felt the needle, I kind of felt the needle go in. And, you know, felt her pinch the arm or whatever with her hands. And then I kind of felt the needle, like, touch my arm. But I didn't even really feel it go in. And then next thing I know, she's taking out and putting the Band-Aid on. And I was like, wow, that was fast. She was really good. Super chatty. Never met the lady before. And she, you know, gave me the lowdown. And I had to wait 15 minutes after getting, which I don't think I've ever had to, like, sit around and wait after getting a shot. It was almost kind of like getting your blood drawn. Or donating blood where they make you sit for like 15 minutes afterwards to make sure you're feeling okay. Yeah, they, she literally gave me a timer and I had to sit there for 15 minutes. But it went super well. Super good. Um, was actually able, while I was sitting there for 15 minutes, able to check out for my appointment. And uh, get my husband a packet because he wants to start seeing the doctor that I see. Because he's the same as I. I haven't seen his primary doctor in years. So we're probably not on their roster anymore. Or patient, whatever. Left there and came home, picked him up. And we went out and saw my nieces and my sister-in-law. And hung out with them for a few hours. And came home. And I've been watching. I restarted watching Breaking Bad. Because I recently found out that they have a movie that I hadn't seen or didn't hear about called El Camino. And we watched Breaking Bad. Him and I watched Breaking Bad years ago. Like when we first started dating. Probably within the first year. And we were fresh out of high school. Uh, we started dating right before graduation our senior year. And so we were still young. And neither one of us were like super into it. I think we got into like the fourth season and just quit watching it. And so I'm like, you know what? I should give it a try. I'm older now. I like things that I didn't like back then. So I should give it a try. See if I like it. And I'm actually really enjoying it this time around. I'm still on season one, but I'm already liking it more than I did before. So I watched a few episodes of Breaking Bad. And then we both went and took a nap. We zonked out. We're so tired. We got back from my sister-in-law's at like noon. And went and laid down at like 2. So it's still like plenty of hours in the day. Plenty of daylight. So I actually just got up from my nap. If you couldn't tell by like my sleepy eyes. And my almost kind of morning voice. My nap voice. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're kind of tired. I'm not tired from the shot or anything. I'm tired because I went to bed at like, like I said, at 12.30. I pressed about the time I fell asleep. And then I was up at 6.30 this morning. And so that's not enough hours. I mean, I usually... We'd go to bed at like 12.30 or 1 and wake up at like 8, 8.30. But 6.30, that's a, not enough hours for me. So, yeah, I'm a little tired from that. So, that's why I'm a little tired today. Not from the shot or anything. But anyways, um, I don't think we're going to be doing anything else this afternoon, though. Probably make dinner here in an hour or two. And I have some editing to do. I probably said that earlier today. I've got... I got some editing I need to do and I'll take my walk because I take a walk every day so you know it's just going to be a super chill day it's his last day off so it's kind of our last day off together we might watch a movie together you know we're just we're chilling I don't know if I mentioned but we're watching we're doing a Disney movie bracket so we'll probably do work on that together and just hang out watch some Breaking Bad so, I don't know if I'll be there to check with you guys later today, or if not, then I will see you guys tomorrow.
this morning I'd planned on getting up and getting around and getting some stuff done and that didn't happen. It's three o'clock, almost three o'clock in the afternoon and I got up and I was like, I'm going to watch one episode of Breaking Bad. I uh, got all the way to season two last night. So I started season two this morning in the middle of watching the first episode and all of a sudden I start not feeling good. I start feeling like kind of a little nauseous and that's usually what happens like if I don't eat in the mornings. Sometimes my stomach will feel a little bit nauseous so I ate something, just a small something for breakfast and um, then usually that nauseousness goes away. Well, it just kept getting stronger and stronger and stronger to the point where I was like, I need to go lay down. I do not feel good at all. I feel super sick. I need to find a bucket and I need to go lay down in bed. I find a bucket and I go lay down in bed and call my husband, tell him I do not feel good. And I'm guessing it's just from the vaccine because I haven't had any signs of any sort of flu, cold, whatever. I haven't had a flu or a cold for a year and a half now and nausea and that kind of stuff were all part of the symptoms of the vaccine, which is whatever. I so call my husband, just letting him know I wanted to talk to him because I don't feel good, you know. So I call him and I'm telling him I don't feel good. And literally, as him and I are talking on the phone, <laughs> I end up throwing up into the bucket and just had an upset tummy. I've had thrown up twice now and I've had some other not good tummy stuff happening, but basically been napping. And we think I went and laid down about 10, 10 30 and threw up twice since then and I've gone to the bathroom a few times since then and I've been napping the whole time. So now it's like almost three o'clock and I had planned on going to the store and making some salsa because my boss's birthday is tomorrow and I'm actually meeting some friends for dinner tonight. I'm feeling way better now. I'm just feeling like super like groggy because <laughs> I've slept all day. Um, but I feel a lot better. I don't feel nauseous or anything like that. So that's good. But anyways, yeah, I had planned to do a bunch of stuff today before going to dinner and now I can't really do any of that. So I'm thinking that probably on my way back from dinner, I will go to the grocery store and we'll pick up ingredients to make salsa. And I'll bring you guys along for the salsa making. I make a really good salsa. It's one that everybody, or almost everybody, I shouldn't say everybody, my husband doesn't like it because they don't make it spicy enough for him. I usually only throw in like two jalapenos and an Anaheim chili. Um, you could throw in spicier stuff, but I make it just spicy enough or just add a little bit of spice for the general people to like. One of my friends, Melanie, she doesn't like it because she says it tastes like tomatoes. And I'm like, Melanie salsa. It's going to taste like tomatoes. Salsa is like 90% tomatoes. <laughs> but everyone else really likes it. Anytime I take it to any potluck or anything, people are like obsessed with it. I took it to a potluck at work one time and now my manager requests it for her birthday every year. And anytime we do any sort of potluck or food thing at work, I'm requested to bring it. I'm the same with when I was in beauty school. Anytime someone graduated, we would do like a graduation potluck for them. We would always, you know, sign up for stuff and I was always told that I had to bring salsa. So, you know, it's a good salsa. It's not my recipe. It's one I got from my mom and she had gotten from a coworker years and years and years ago. So, I don't know where the salsa re recipe originated from, but I will share it with you guys because it's so good. Um, anyways, I feel like I've been rambling on for a while now, but yeah, it's just been kind of a rough morning, you know, not been feeling good, but I'm feeling a lot better now. Just feel a little, a little tired. I feel like that's kind of what happens though. When you spend a lot of time sleeping, you wake up feeling tired, you know? So, but the weather is crappy today. I was planning on wearing one of my new pairs of mom shorts and like a bungee tank to dinner but it's like overcast and been on and off rainy all day long. So I don't know what I'm going to wear. I could still wear that and then throw on like a cute cardigan over top. Or I could just wear pants. I don't know. I haven't decided. I'll probably start getting ready here soon. That way I can change my outfit 50 times to figure out what's the right outfit for this weather. Because it's still like mid 
60s or something out there. So it's not super cold. It's just rainy and cloudy. So yeah, I don't know. I had been planning I was going to wear shorts and a bungee tank for this dinner, though, for the last few weeks. And then the weather was bad today. So now I'm like, well, now what am I going to wear, you know? But anyways, all right, guys. I will see you guys later. I'm on my way to dinner, and it is freaking downpouring, guys. It's raining like crazy, but it's still, like, mid-60s. So it's kind of weirdly warm for how much it's raining. But, yeah, I'm on my way to dinner to go meet with some friends. They're actually friends from beauty school. Last time we went to dinner was back in like December, I think. It's been a while since we went to dinner and actually hung out, so I'm kind of excited to see them. I'm going to dinner and then after dinner I'm gonna to go to the store and I'm going to pick up some groceries or stuff to make salsa. So anyways, I'm almost to the restaurant now, so I will check with you guys later. I did end up wearing shorts even though it's raining i just decided to throw on a sweater over the shorts so i didn't look completely crazy wearing shorts and a tank top in the middle of a rainy day went to the store i got all my ingredients all that good stuff actually making dinner for my husband and i figured while i was making dinner for him i could come over here and make salsa so we're gonna be doing that uh, it's such a simple easy recipe to do so freaking quick and simple. Um, I'll show you guys everything you need. Um, I feel like the most important thing, like tool wise, is a hand cranked food processor. One of the ones that like you spin and the blade spins inside. Like this is what I feel like makes it so good. It makes it like the perfect consistency. So I don't know. This is like the most important thing I feel like out of everything. So for your ingredients. You're gonna need a bunch of tomatoes. These ones are kind of on the smaller side of tomatoes. So I bought one of those like trays of tomatoes. And I ended up rinsing two, four, six, eight, ten of them. And I might need more. Um, we'll just kind of see how much that makes. And kind of maybe if they over it or whatever. It just kind of depends on maybe if it's too spicy, add more tomatoes I just kind of use however many tomatoes you feel is right for the amount you need because of course tomatoes are your base so then you also need jalapenos I always buy three sometimes I don't use all three sometimes I only use two and I just seed them um, but I do chop them up into smaller chunks but yeah I just, just seed them and take the tops off and I kind of just go, depend on how spicy they smell or seem like they're going to be. That's how I decided to throw in there. And then one Anaheim chili or pepper. I don't know if those are peppers or chilies. I don't know. Whatever the Anaheim is, the long green. I feel like it's a chili because it's so long. But one long green guy. And then an onion. I feel like I usually use a white onion, but I only had yellow at home. So I used a yellow one today. And then cilantro, and then of course salt, lemon juice, not lime juice, but lemon juice, and then garlic. So that's all I have for fresh stuff. Well, all of the garlic and lemon juice, I guess, aren't fresh. But then I also use some diced canned tomatoes, usually one or two cans, depending again on how much liquid I need in it, how much tomato I need, if it's too salty, if I put too much salt in, I'll throw in an extra can of tomatoes so just diced plain diced tomatoes nothing special about those and then a can of rotel and this is just the original if you like a little extra spice you could choose like the hot or one of the more spicy rotels i just do the original plain and simple so to start out I usually start by just cutting up all my tomatoes. I just start by cutting them into quarters and dropping them into my hand cranked processor. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I usually just throw a few in at a time. I don't do all of them because then that can become too much to turn at one time. So 
So then I spin it until it looks nice and foamy and the pieces are really nice and fine in there. And then I throw them inside whatever bowl I'm going to be using. I'm taking this to give to somebody to take to their house. I'm just gonna put it in a Rubbermaid container. That way if I don't see it again, I'm not gonna have hard feelings. <laughs> I've done it where I put it in glass bowls and then not seen that glass bowl again. So I've kind of learned my lesson. I also just went through and de-seeded my jalapenos, so I'm going to throw those in with the last of the tomatoes. I think I'm going to throw the Anaheim in there as well, just because there's a decent amount of room in there. Okay, then on top of the onion, I'm just going to go ahead and throw um, a can of the diced tomatoes. And I don't drain them or anything. I pour juices and everything right into the processor. Juice the lid. No. You can start stirring this together whenever you want. Now we're going to start chopping up the cilantro. So I actually kind of go and just like chop off the most like leafy stuff off first. About like that. And then just throw my bundle of stems away. And then I just go through and make sure there's not any like major stem pieces. If there is, then I just go ahead and cut those out. Like this piece, I would go ahead and take care of that piece in the middle there. Alright, so I'm going to throw on the can of Rotel and the other can of diced tomatoes in over top. Just because looking at it, I think it's going to need a little bit more. All right, so have it all mixed together. What I'm gonna do now is take my salt. I'm just using regular Morton's salt. And I do not measure it. I just take like a good amount in my hand like that and just sprinkle it over and stir it in. So that's probably about a tablespoon, I don't know. I just kind of salt it and then we'll taste it when I'm all done and say, okay, that needs a little more salt or okay, that was too salty if it's too salty. Then I'll add in another tomato. And if it's not salty enough, then I'll add a little more salt in. 
but honestly I feel like if it doesn't quite feel salty enough right now but like it still tastes good it usually tastes a little bit saltier the next day or after it's been sitting a little bit and it gets saltier over time as the flavors all kind of marinate together then I'm going to take my lemon juice and I usually do just like a squeeze but this one doesn't have a squeeze cap sadly so I'm just going to do like a not even a cap full like a an eighth of a cap full maybe a quarter of a cap full and just kind of pour that over the top and mix that in and then put some garlic in I'm just using some good old minced garlic and I'm going to use a pretty good scoopful, like maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half-ish, somewhere in there, like a decent sized scoop. I do not measure it. And then I mix it all together. And then the foam that's on top will kind of settle in a little bit. Once you kind of leave it alone, that foam will kind of settle down, will go away. And I usually don't taste it right away. I'll let it sit for a little bit before I taste it and see how it tastes if all the flavors seem about right or if it needs a little more this or a little more that. Usually it needs, if anything, the salt is what kind of determines if it needs more or less or not. Alright, there you have it. There is the salsa. It's all good to go. So I think now I'm going to go ahead and finish my husband's dinner and I got the salsa all done. And then after dinner, I don't know if I'm going to go for a walk tonight or not. I kind of just feel like I just want to take the night off to relax and just chill because I'm just still not feeling 100%, still feeling kind of tired and blah, and my tummy's still not feeling 100%. So, I don't know, I'm going to kind of play it by ear and see. I might just edit and watch a little bit of Breaking Bad and just chill for the rest of the night. Today, I have been running around like a freaking chicken with my head cut off, I feel like. I got up at 6 in this morning, was out of the house by 8.20, and then was doing a wedding hair for and makeup for like four hours. I was only going to do my friend, and then they ended up needing um, the other bridesmaids to hair and makeup done. So for four hours, so I finally left there about 1 o'clock, and after I left the wedding venue, I ran home. Today's also my boss's or manager's birthday. As you guys know, we made salsa for her yesterday, so I ran home grabbed the chips and salsa for her, ran that to work, dropped that off, gave her her chips and salsa, wished her a happy birthday, then ran home, and then I edited for a few hours. Sorry, my camera keeps falling down again. Um, edited for a few hours, and then loaded up my laundry. Now I'm on my way to my parents' house to do my laundry, because that's what I do on Saturday. So it's just been like a crazy day. I haven't even like really eaten a meal today. The only thing I really consumed was a coffee that my friend brought me, and um, actually some like lemon bread loaf stuff that I bought as like, kind of a, bought it as a dessert, and I also kind of eat it as like a breakfast every once in a while, so I had a slice of that. And that's like, those are the only things I've consumed today. Also really should drink some water. I haven't drank any water today. I didn't actually take my meds this morning. Like, I have just been running around like crazy, trying to get stuff done since I didn't get like anything done yesterday. Cause I usually try to get a bunch of editing done on Fridays. And because I was not feeling good, I spent most of the day yesterday in bed. I didn't get anything done, so. Yeah, today's just been a crazy day, but so I'm going to get my laundry done and that'll be the rest of my day while I'm doing my laundry. So my dad wants his hair cut, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go home and finish editing this vlog so I can get it up for you guys tomorrow. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and close out this vlog here. I usually don't close out the vlogs while I'm driving, running around. I usually do that once I'm home, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.